ominous beginning to this video. Hey everyone, how's it going? This is another week of uh, Hobby Fist from GeoGuessr. Uh, thank you all for watching. Um, hopefully the volume's coming through. It should be good enough. Well, let's start the challenge. Um, as I seem to have been doing recently, fucking starting these videos with some fucking house cleaning again, because every time I try to tell myself house cleaning's done, something else always pops up. Um... Video is gonna be kind of light this week. I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty crappy. I mean, it's that first little tinge of oh something bad's about to happen. That's it, it's come up this morning. Uh, Evo is on vacation, and we're definitely gonna get back to uh, restarting that Rome campaign just because uh, we set up some of the timer stuff kind of bad. So we're we're are these kilometers? Does it say on it? We're coming back to the reset this again. And next week have uh, Rome come back. We'll just hit reset and start again. Um, other than that, the state of the states we've been doing um, is as enjoyable as it is, and kind of like uh, obligation. I feel like I should have for actually finishing it. We're actually stopping that for the time being, just because we oh we are going the other way. The truck passed us already. Well, and I gotta move up to see what the truck said. That might come back in the future, but as of now, where the hell did it go? We pulled over. Is it in front? It must be. I'm spending way too much time with this truck I'm trying to find out anything I can here. Dude, this guy has to be driving really goddamn fast. This is probably Brazil again, isn't it? And, oh. Mercedes Benz, back up. Go forward a bit. Either he was going super fast. Oh, it's a convoy. I am confused. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time comprehending this, but whatever. We're going to keep going. Uh, anyway. State of State might come back later. It's just... As fun as it is, I mean, starting to look at things to get the views. Granted, everything that we're doing here isn't getting blockbuster views, but as painful as it is to keep saying it, it is still a bit in its infancy as far as what the hell we're doing. And kind of with just starting out, it's getting better every time, but I feel it can get a lot better. But anyway, that's that's, that's just where things are now. Um. Feeling kind of sick again. I might. I think I mentioned that in this. I've had to. I fucked up once earlier trying to record this and had it completely restarted in GeoGuessr because I, I didn't feel like restarting. That was someplace in Scandinavia. This again. I have no idea where this is, but it feels like Brazil. The flattest section of Brazil I've ever seen. I would not be surprised if I am completely wrong though. So before I forget, I'm just going to put down here because. This is the longest strip of plantation, or whatever the hell, farm fields. It's a highway dirt road going through here. There's been nothing of note anywhere on these. Oh, that's right, we're going backwards. There's been nothing of note on this road or anything I've gone to. I'm going to hit home and go the other direction, because Jesus Christ. Maybe there's something this way, with 20 seconds left. This is going to be a terrible score, I've already... I've resigned myself to know that, I don't know what the hell, where the hell, how the hell, oh, there's habitation down here. Again, I went the wrong direction. And there's a sign right here with, let's see what this says. Um, I don't know, well, okay, that was fucking Argentina, whatever, I could, you, you, congratulations, I had, got fucking, I hate when Google does this, I don't care. There we go. I do not care. I just want to zoom in. Oh, it's a straight, long line through... Who knows what. Anyway. Bad start. So far, off to a bad start. And... Better, closer, warmer... Um, if I remember from... Previous... Um... 
Brazil videos, we figured out the road system, at least for provinces, even though that says Uberlandia, the BR, so BR365. I'm going to see if it comes up anywhere here. And this is what, there's 364. 364, 364, 364, 364, no, okay, pardon me, um, this is a long fucking road, I don't know why I'm, I'm, I'm stuck on this, BR050, how far do I gotta go in, oh boy, alright, I gotta look for provinces, that starts BR, cause, we remember that if this is how it's set up, all of these highways here, the first two letters are the province, but I don't think there's a province called BR. So now we're on our own for the next two minutes and 30 seconds to try to find this needle in a stack of needles of Highway 365. I don't understand your road logic. You've got 400s and 300s, 361. 002, whatever. So now it's just scanning across this massively huge fucking um, territory trying to find 365. I'm going to put Hugh here just because this is the only one I found that's 364. I'll put you closer to here and then take a look around. Oh, uh, Brazil, why are you so big? Did whoever was Portugal just like, we took all of this. We could probably divide this up more just for my sake. 200 years in the future after we first colonized this area. Um, yeah, we're just going to take this huge chunk. I don't care. We're, we're not going to divvy this up to make it easier for geoguessers in the future to discern where the hell they are, where they're going. That's that's my stance. If I'm elected world leader, every massive country is going to be divided up into smaller, manageable chunks. Every 10, 10 miles, I mean, I won't be too crazy. Every 10 miles, they just have to put a sign up, you're in this country, this is where you are. And there'll be a little picture on a map. Tell you where you are, so you don't have to... So you'd be the world's best geoguesser bankrupting all these countries because these signs they have to put them up i won't i won't let you not well did we see i did see a br um oh five oh there's a oh one oh 36 this has been the worst fucking round this it's been a static image this entire time i've been trying to find some Intersection that I doubt exists. I'm finding 3-0, which makes me feel I'm gonna click over here. There's 367. 030, that's not 050. 040, 050. I'll put you here. Oh, oh, Uberlandia. I found it. I think I got pretty close. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, I needed all of that time. I needed all that time. My God, that was awful. Oh, oh my! Is this the fucking Brazilian tour? Please. Um, GeoGuessr, please. I did find the O one O. Now I just have to try to find it again. O three O. That said, BR010 on it, you know, 101. I w the one thing I would hate is if someone actually, there's the 010, someone was actually uh, watching these videos and then they, like, yeah, you actually are dyslexic this entire time. Or you can be like, yeah, that, that time you pause all the time, that's actually like cardiac arrhythmia. We, whenever people sometimes have that, they stutter a lot. And you're probably going to die in 10 days, and this is how I find out. Because I've been too, maybe paranoid is the wrong word. These type of things I don't feel like bringing up with the doctor. It's like, anything else with you? And I just want to, oh, I don't want to bother you. There's the 101. How long is the 101? 
Boom. Okay, so maybe the way they set up their highways is the odd, even odds are north-south, starting from the Atlantic. And this is a massively long highway that starts all the way up here. So now that we've established that the entire Atlantic coast is this highway, now we're just going to try to find some more um, information to help me narrow it down a smidge. Uh, 3A Fazia. Let's just do a quick look to see if there's a, a the Fazia comes up anywhere. Oh, yep, the 101 goes all the way down. Victoria, Campos. No, it's not, oh, it goes through Rio. It goes through Sao Paulo. Oh my Christ. Wow. Wow. Well, it said 37, so... If I'm to make a discern... Uh, if I was to discern as to how these highways are set up is they probably start tallying the miles at one end compared to the other and it's just a matter of assume like figuring out if they start marking them from the south or if they start marking them from the north and if i guess wrong i'm going to get a very very bad score we are heading south right now which makes me feel like uh, the, the mileage is going up as I head in this direction, so it makes me feel... That I did see a sign, so I'm trying to back up and see if I can't see it in between these trucks. There it is. Oh, perfectly spaced truck man. We'll do this. See if I can't see it through this little strip. I don't think I'm going to see it. So, I'm just going to go out and guess and say that this is... We're, we're heading this direct. So, I feel like it's up here. And the 101 starts up here. So, I'm going to stick with where I'm clicked here. And we'll find out if it, it's north or it's actually near Uruguay is where it starts. But I think there's another road sign up here. Can I get to it in 10 seconds? Uh, 107. Uh, let's return Eric. Ooh, I don't see. Oh, okay, so I wasn't that far off. So I'll give myself three stars. I feel like I'm just learning this through attrition. The amount of time I've had to go through Brazil that, like it or not, I'm just gonna figure out where I am, like it or not. Okay, this feels like America. Um, so I know that Utah likes to use this road signage system. However, I feel that this is probably more Texas driven and they just, it's such a big state and there's so many roads. They just gave up on trying to name things. It's like, you can't have the 700th Elm street in this state. All right, let's just start. Let's just start naming them. Um, after a jumble of numbers, weight limit, 10 tons. I doubt that. Okay, this is a nondescript Volvo with Fort Branch, Indiana. All right. Can we find? Hopefully, this truck did not get stolen, driven halfway across country, and then ditched here in the middle of who knows where, Indiana. Okay. No, I didn't want to click there, but my finger just did that. So I'll let it slide. Um, Fort Branch. How, um, New Haven, Fort Wayne, Richmond, Muncie. I mean, also, if these guys stole this truck and did move it, I do have to commend them that I don't think trying to get, use a giant Mack truck as a getaway vehicle is all that smart and nondescript, but hey, if they got away with it, more power to them. You should be really scared about them, and we found Kokomo. Where's Aruma? Jamaica? Ooh, I want to take you. If you actually... North Verdon. 
Say that song in more of a sinister version. That whole song sounds like that man is trying to abduct that person. They know that they're probably in some sort of uh, restraining order, custody battle, or whatever. And he's like, I know how I'm going to get away with this kid and never be sent back for, uh, what the hell's that word where they send you one country wants you back? I can't, expedition. So he's like, he's just sitting there going through a list. Oh, we're going to go to the Caribbean. I'm going to figure this out. Um, yeah. Well, where do I want to go to? I want to go to Ruba, Jamaica. And then it, like he gets so excited, he just can't help himself and said, Oh, I want to take you. And he's just so ready for this to happen. And then he finally decides way down to Kokomo. And then, for some dumb reason, he's trying to help people figure out exactly where this place is, because it's off the Florida Keys. And there's a place called Kokomo. And that's where he wants to go to get away from it all. It's This, this, this is an evil song. It's like that I'll Be Watching You song by the police. I'm clicking in the center of the state, because I don't know if I'm going to find this thing in the next 50 seconds. This has been a really static screen uh, episode of GeoGuessr here, but... I found one my one little nugget of uh, information that's gonna help me figure out where we are, and I'm just I'm just like not letting go of this thing. I'm like a uh, something that latches on to things and doesn't let go. Like a like a ooh, we got 20 seconds. Probably a leech. Huntington and Princeton, Indiana 64. Can we find this in the next 10 seconds? Huntingburg, Princeton. The 64. Um, 27, 27, 31, 6, hike. Um, I did not find this in time because, again, I clinged to that one little bit of information way too long. I deserve what I got. And I do not see a fort, woody woo, whatever the hell it was called around here. I'll give this another three stars. I'm feeling real generous today. Oh, final one. We're not going to break the 2,000 unless I hack the system. Can I find out anything? No, I cannot. This still... F the, the, the forest here looks deciduous. Maybe temperate. Or maybe that's climate ranges. I forget. It's... it's I should just go over there. There's, there's civilization over there. This is probably Europe. Let me see what the sign... Well, the sign says stop. These signs... Uh, can't tell. Um, this almost feels like a movie set where they just set up all the houses to make it look like they're in a town, and then at a certain point they just stop building things. I know that's not the case, but it just stops abruptly. Especially if you live at the end of town, then the Apocalypse just comes through the woods here, and you're the first well, first house to get attacked. These are some weird houses. Casa Avenda. Is this is this South America again? I'm I I think this just might be. Um, it's either that or it's Spain, maybe. Oh, the Maya. This this lit land. No, oh, that's. That's not French. I'm, why am I thinking that's French? Maybe this is... Spain? This is a fancy Spain. Cespa. These are, like, nice houses. Just fucking no one lives here. At least not yet. These fancy... I like I like the, 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 the architectural style of this place. Trash cans are usually helpful. This is not... My god, I wasted two minutes here, and this is... I've only found is a language? I haven't found... Anything else. Nope. Range Rover. That just piles of trash in the corner. That is not what you do with the trash, people. Learn how to take care of your stuff. Ooh, that's a nice view. Of, uh... Well, they have the terracotta-style houses, or uh, roofs to their house, which makes me feel that's more Mediterranean. So they have their Spanish here, so I feel it's Spain. Um, exactly where in Spain, we're going to just have to find the rain. Maybe a plane. 
because that's where I've heard it mainly falls. We're getting into a village of some sort. I don't want to... That's a interesting... I mean, this is not how you play basketball. You usually want your backboard not to have a lip to it that your ball will get kicked off it in weird angles. But hey, you do you. I remember one time I wanted a basketball hoop so bad, my dad finally put it up. And I thought regulation height for it was like 12 feet or maybe it's it's 10 feet, I think it's the height for it. I forget exactly, but I said it was two feet higher than that. My dad didn't bother verifying that information. So it ended up being like two or three feet too high. And all my friends would come over to play basketball and they're like, Yo, idiot, why is your uh, hoop so high? It's like, I thought this was the height. Oh, oh, oh. I see a flag. I saw a flag. Oh, you know what? This doesn't help me because that's like the Liberian flag almost. It could be. Man, I gotta make a guess. I Oh my god, I have to make a guess. We'll click there in Spain. Either this or this is Chile and I'll be very mad. Okay. That wasn't too bad. I did see French. So maybe that was French that entire time. I don't know. I'll take it. I have to pay attention to that time more. I'm not doing a very good job of that. Okay. Not a bad sick round, I guess. Because, eh, you know, feeling kind of bleh. And I got punished with a lot of Brazil. But you know what? I did find road signs and that made it easier so I guess we found my weakness is dirt roads that have no information on them but hey yeah thank you all for watching hope you guys come back on Monday or Wednesday because I can't get my days right to watch a little bit more GeoGuessr or uh, check out other stuff on the channel but either way like favorite comment subscribe thank all that stuff tell your friends laugh at me um, as long as you're not a doctor and telling me that hey all that time that you, you have those pauses when you talk, that's that's cancer and you're going to die. Just don't tell me that because I don't know if I can handle it. Either way, come back on Wednesday. Let's do some more GeoGuessr then. But until then, have a good one.